okay perfect mm-hmm. so t- today we will be covering a new rule which is pertaining to user interface and it is called as let us expand this category so we will be covering something called as navigation as well as portal these are the true rules we will be understanding how exactly we will be utilizing this portal and navigation rule in user interface category let me click on portal first so if you see we have already covered what is a harness what is a section we have already covered uh, control is something which we have already used out of the box controls like uh, like uh, drop down dynamic select and uh, radio buttons all those are controls which we have already seen of part of which we also have something called as a portal rule let us open a sample portal rule if you see we do have one user portal which got created for us if you see when it was created it is updated okay i updated sometime recently but when we created our application pega automatically created a user portal for us if i open this and click on history i should be able to see when this was created all i have done is navigated to user interface category and accessing this portal rule navigation rule and portal rule is something which we'll be seeing so if you see this is one of the existing rules user portal which got created for us default employee facing uh, generated by for app view is what it is saying if you see uh, updated added view full history <laughs> by default pega has given us this that's fine okay but what is this instance of it is an instance of a portal rule let us see what is the pxobj class for this perform a view xml from the actions tab to control f px pj class rule hyphen portal is the pxobj class for every portal rule instance for every portal rule instance the pxobj class is rule hyphen portal so how do i access it if you see if i want to access any portal all i have to do is click here on launch portal and i am able to see case manager portal as well as user portal in the options here when i click on user portal i'll be able to launch this where will we specify this you will specify this on your access group for example when i go to my user this is my user admin at the rate alpha and the access group i am mapped to is alpha auto authors if i open this access group you will see what is the application alpha auto 01010 is the application along with that you will see available portals this is a developer portal do we agree? do we agree right now we are in a developer portal portal is nothing but a view using which you can perform certain operations a user can you view a screen on a portal this is a developer portal in the same way there is a manager portal which we have configured there is also a user portal when i open this it should open me this particular user portal rule see which we have user portal is nothing but something which end users will be using end user won't come into this developer studio and access the application right he'll be using something like this when you are going and applying for aadhar card on like jeevan uh, bima or whatever is the online application you won't be going to the developer side you will be going to the user side which looks something like this where you can pick stuff and do something same thing we saw when we were looking at the progressive insurance we saw that where you are accessing a user portal something which is meant for user here you won't see anything with respect to development no rules or anything here only user related stuff reports which a user will is interested in if he wants to create a new work object he can create from here dashboard of what all details are available as part of how many work objects are created what does it work let's have stuff like that does it make sense do we understand what is a portal all about perfect 
and portal is a part of you know uh, user interface category see this is a portal in the portal we are visiting a dashboard and this is how a dashboard looks like when it was created his dashboard cases he has created this particular user has created he is able to see in his portal perfect let's go back to this portal So, when you open any portal, by default, it will be in a design template mode. Like I clicked, I, you have to click to enable that particular, uh, you know, to see like how we convert the sections uh, to see the palette. You have to convert it to see what it is designed on. If you see, this portal rule is nothing but it includes a harness. See, do we have a harness here? harness name user portal a portal includes a harness what is a harness container for sections yes or no see portal portal is something which contains a harness that harness internally contains sections see the screen layout if you click on this you will see everything is a section included section below contains html this is the form we are seeing when you are going on user portal. If you go to home here, yes or no? Ultimately, these all are like sections which are embedded inside one harness. Do we agree? See, portal includes a harness rule that's what we saw harness includes sections we saw that in our user portal perfect so which class is this created and there is something we have to understand now user portal channels Perfect. Does it make sense, guys? And where does this get executed? For example, this thing got loaded, right? If you open a clipboard page, Let's get back here, launch the clipboard page and see. Oh, oh, come on. You should be able to find something called as a page with the name PY Display Harness. See, data hyphen portal. This PY display hardness is of the class data hyphen portal. All the portals should be part of data hyphen portal class. And if you see, this is the page which gets which is getting loaded. Does it make sense, guys? The harness rules gets executed on this page, PY display harness page on the portal. UI display harness page data hyphen portal. Very important. PY display harness is the primary page where harness rule of the portals gets 
executed very good also something if you see you see that we are able to navigate here yes or no this is nothing but a control which is called as navigation in pega it's called as navigation uh, using that if you see in many of the applications there if you click on a button there will be a menu when you click on a menu, uh, button there will be a menu something like for example when we created work objects whenever we created work objects uh, let us launch any work object here I think it will go see and a navigation rule is nothing some nothing but something which looks like this on click of which you are able to launch a menu is this not a menu guys on click we are displaying a set of items calling our local action and stuff like that do you understand what is a navigation rule on click of which you are able to navigate to any of these actions this is also a user interface rule you can check that if you want how can i check that click on live ui and if you click on this see this is a button this button is nothing but a navigation see do we see that portal navigation panel under which they have specified this case action header let me open this i'm able to open that section Let me convert this to full section editor, submit, and you will see we will be able to understand actions. See, if we click on this actions, that see, am I able to see a menu here? content py common actions what is that py common actions guys a navigation rule do you understand what is a navigation what does a navigation look like yes no we will design one just giving you understanding when we say navigation in pega what sort of control are we looking at something on click of which you will get a set of items to be performed let me disable this on click of this action button i'm getting so many action options to perform i can do any of this you are able to navigate on click of this button you are able to navigate to this all these stuff this is nothing but a rule in pega under user interface category there is a navigation rule one such rule is pi work common actions the purpose is just to add menu names and menu actions see you want to view history manage tags stuff like that you can add here any number of actions like that can be added this is a navigation rule let us see how we can do some modification with respect to understanding what is this navigation rule all about you could be asked how can you display a menu of items when a user opens a work object i want to show that in a menu you can say i can use navigation rule let us see how we can do that so two rules we are are the takeaway today one is the portal rule using which all our portals are designed we saw how the user portal gets launched right it is nothing but a portal rule the same way this also is a portal 
this is a developer portal this is a user portal similarly you can define a manager portal depending upon how many parties are there in your application you will have a corresponding portal for example if you have any training uh, you know uh, websites for udemy udemy has one instructor portal one student portal if you sign up for a course you will be provided with a student portal if you sign up as a instructor you will have an instructor portal there will be an admin portal who will be handling administrator task that will be admin portal all these are portals in pega also you, you, we can create these portals how there is a portal rule within pega which we saw using which we have designed the user portal this user portal has nothing but a harness rule inside that that harness rule has nothing but the sections which are necessary to display which we saw see harness rule harness is a container for sections yes or no the same sections are being displayed on the user portal if you go on home you'll be able to see same image coming here and stuff like that i can modify that and i can add my own custom image if you want yes or no i can check out and i can put my custom image here see this is a harness anyways you will have to do it in the section whatever section is included here i have to go there how can i look up for images within pega guys what is the rule i'll be using very good very good binary file is something you will be using perfect you can specify your own you can customize it to your desired level of customization you can do it now let's try to create a navigation rule and understand how we can create navigation okay let's say i want to add some navigation how will i do it let me go to my work class and then under on the user interface category i want to create a navigation let us say right click create and navigation let me call it um, customer menu create and open see this it will give you a form which looks like this to be able to edit this just click on this entry to edit this item it's opening it's kind of a little slow perfect got loaded let me call let us do some modification on click of this first row you should be able to get this form populated on the right side where you will be putting your customization let us say this is menu one okay on the general tab i have specified a menu let's see what we are going to do on click of that let us say click of the menu if you go to the actions tab exactly similar to how we do in sections on click of button same thing in general tab i specified some name i told it as menu one right and then i came to the actions tab in this actions tab i can do something okay on click of this i can do for example i can add a local action okay in that local action i can specify what do i want to do mm, replace current page i don't want to replace i want to overlay overlay in the sense it will come on top of the uh, screen uh, on the on the bigger uh, on this exact display on this layout you'll be seeing another pop-up which you will be modifying let us say i want to do a overlay and on click of this menu i, I can show any of the flow actions which i have all these flow actions are something which we created yes or no we saw how we configure local actions right did we see that 
exactly similarly you can build a menu to show any such local actions see let me say i am to i want to show the agency local action display in full screen on mobile device that's okay first use okay this looks good so i was able to add one item if you click okay you will see that one menu item got created with one local action does it make sense let us say i want to add another menu i can click on this to set the context if i want to add it above this thing i can do that if i want to add below this thing i can do that let me add below this see another item now i am able to add same way let me say this is menu 2 this is menu 2 okay and let me go to actions and add another local action let us say local action and let us say this is a model dialog and what do i want to show here let us say i will show another flow action uh, let us say i will show the auto vehicle flow action perfect model format standard let us keep it standard <coughs> I uh, pretty standard uh, options here nothing to emphasize perfect it's current page okay perfect see i'm able to add two menu items now yes or no this has to come here that is why we are not able to see that and down okay so i have two menu items in the same way i can add as many menu items i want let us say i want to add one more below this guy and let me call this guy menu 3 okay and then just say okay let us say there is a child item for this particular menu i can click on this you can have a child for this add a child node see you can add a child item here Does it make sense, guys? How we can do this? And let us say in actions, you want to see all actions. See, you can run a script. Let us say you want to run a report definition. Okay. new document or pop-up window or anything let us say it is a pop-up window let us say uh, we have report definitions in our work class right i think we have defined a few let us see fetch vehicle status or fetch work object status what others do we have okay let us say we want to fetch the vehicle statuses see this how we can design a navigation menu within pega all this so far what we have done we have done we have understood what is a portal rule all about we accessed the existing portal and we saw how it has been created also we have seen what is a navigation rule we saw what is a navigation rule and then we have come here and we are creating it just right clicked on user interface category created a navigation and we have added stuff to display a menu 
let us say we want to add this to one of the existing sections uh, let me open my user interface section now that this is designed it has to be present somewhere if we see the previous portal or case action header this is a section where this particular navigation has been specified on click of a button yes or no yes or no guys right similarly we should also be adding that this particular uh, navigation rule we create we should be adding it to some of the any of the section to be able to see on ui let us click on let us see this customer detail section perfect i do have this customer detail section let us say let me check this out first let me see what option can i use to add this particular section uh, it's an action so it, i should be using something like this do we see a menu item here under action palette right we see a menu item we can use that add it here see and you can use the navigation rule you can use the navigation rule or what you can also do submit you can also do something like this like how we saw the implementation before that instead of menu you can take a button menu button and in actions you can specify your custom menu you can do that also but right, right now just let us focus on this one the menu and let us see what exactly it has to offer let's save this Or we can do that also. No issues. We'll see both of them together here. Button, and then let's go here. Let's click on actions. Let's create an action set. Same thing. On click. What do you want to do? Here, we are actually trying to display a menu. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? And I do have that. I do have that. What is the format? I think I have a standard or standard tab, however you want. Let us use standard. Standard format. Where we are using both here. The menu navigation as well as this. Let us see how it looks. Just to test it out. To understand how exactly we can use it or you can change this and you can call cost menu different ways in which you can implement such a pretty basic requirement you will be getting such requirements day in day out when you are trying to work on the product so you need to know you should be able to provide multiple solutions this is how you will be able to understand how we can utilize this let me run the customer flow Done. see the menu item is coming like this however on click of this thing I should be able to see exact similar implementation how I have here yes or no see and there is a child implementation because we have user a child node here that's okay we haven't given a name that's why it's not populating that's fine however on click of this i should be able to access the agency code see 
we have told this will be a overlay this is a overlay you can specify and you can your details here and it should come up I think I have set it to read only it's okay same way I can click on menu to see this is a model dialog I specified model dialog here there that is why it is coming on top of the screen and see the behind screen is not accessible anymore until unless I complete this I won't be able to access this does it make sense here I can specify brand and provide those details you can select a state through a menu No. a ticket which gets enabled on click of this submit does it make sense guys see the status got approved auto approved why because we are using ticket does it make sense custom menu see i am running a report definition this should give me list of all the statuses which are in pending vehicle info same thing they have implemented here as soon as you see the control you should be knowing what is this this is also navigation yes or no are we able to understand what is a navigation rule all about how exactly you can implement that very straightforward guys you know you can do it this way also but this, see it is pretty crude i mean does it appeal to the user you can click here and also you can access that but if you see all the menus are coming here like this maybe you will have a requirement where you you want to implement it like that you can do that but this looks much cleaner approach pretty similar to this but looks much better than that the button has a curl around and stuff like that like out of the box it is giving you zero percent code you are doing here all you have to do is drag and drop and just configure and tell it tell pega to display this menu to it navigation rule has helped us doing that we created our own custom navigation where we specified stuff you can come back and you can edit and modify stuff item you can keep a label status we also understand how overlay and model dialog work guys see overlay here we have specified the actions as overlay the section the behind section you are still able to access even though you are launching this particular local action however in the second menu we have told that this is a model dialog which disables the parent screen access yes or no yes or no guys let's refresh it and check and let's create a new work object ashes customer flow see fetch statuses customer menu fetch status this should give you a complete new window where it's downloading or generating the report accessing the database pulling out the statuses for you and it's showing you that also overlay it's just overlaying on top of the screen but you can access the screen in the back no issues however this is model dialog you'll be asked what is a model dialog some a pop-up which comes on top of the screen and disables the parent screen access until unless you have completed the details on this pop-up this pop-up is nothing but 
model dialog how do i know we configure it and i can also click on this what is this pz model template it's also called as model dialog in pega yes or no are we able to understand guys any item you can just go back and you can see see this is we designed the flow action once we are using it so many times we are using here in the flow everywhere this reusability is part of pegas enterprise class structure the code is reusable you can write the rule once and use multiple times wherever you want how many times did we write the flow action rule guys only once how many times did we create this personal vehicle info section only once but we are using it multiple times in the drop down action in the flow action can on the connector flow action as a local action wherever you want you can use it these are some features of pega which are very important are we able to understand what is a navigation rule in pega very important so two rules i will take away for today one is your portal rule how can i see what are the portals i have access to you can go to your operator id which is admin at alpha for me here and click here click on operator you can directly go to access group also but i'm showing you how exactly you would navigate see i am assigned to alpha auto authors open this and you will see what all portals you have access to developer production studio and user portal this is the custom user portal all this px px and py are out of the box pega portals this user portal also is something which pega created but you can customize it to your taste because this user portal is something the user will be seeing when he is accessing your application if you open this application this portal it will be opening the user portal rule see a portal rule which is what we are seeing here portal rule user portal you can access it by launching here launch user portal it will take you to that screen see brought me back to that screen user portal those navigations are necessary to design lot of stuff on the user screen they will be asking you we want navigation on certain certain step you should be knowing why would we need navigation does a developer need navigation like that no on the user portal you have to design navigations where on the flows like how we did this navigation will be visible to the user when he is accessing a work object yes or no yes or no guys see for him to be able to perform certain actions he will be using it see how it is appearing for the user the user will be able to come and fetch the status maybe launch this thing well he knows reason customer details flow action he can provide agency code here or he can click on the customer menu launch a model dialog where he can provide personal information personal vehicle info details or he can also launch a report definition is it giving you a context of understanding where exactly these rules can be utilized yes no perfect so that would be it for today the navigation and the portal rule are the takeaways from today's class if you guys have any questions i can take them you guys have any questions